Let's talk power outages, uh, starting with United Illuminating. As of right now, 13,000 customers without power. Uh, North Haven, Hamden hard hit. North Brantford's got half the town out without power. But moving to Eversource, which is what you're looking at at the right side of your screen, uh, over 22,000 customers don't have power. And about 70% of those outages coming in Brantford alone at about 16,000 people without power. Woodbury and Guilford also uh, hit very hard. A uh, little over an hour ago, Eversource provided an update on restoration efforts. Uh, Fox 61's Lisette Nunez is live in Brantford with more on what we learned. Good morning, what's going on? Good morning, Tim. Now that it's daylight, we are getting a closer look at some of the damage. We did get an update from Eversource, as you mentioned, 16,000 people still without power. That's pretty much the entire town here and a lot of trees down, wires down. I actually just got done talking to a neighbor who told me at around four o'clock in the morning they were woken up because they saw a Jeep that ran over this down wire that you see there and it actually sparked it up and it left this big uh, burn mark on the grass that you're looking at right now is actually still smoking as you can see right there. So pretty impressive stuff that the people here on Damascus Road had to deal with. We did get an update from Eversource this morning. They pretty much said that they expect most of the state to have power by the end of the day. Here's the latest on that. The majority of our customers in the communities other than Brantford will we'll most likely all be back except for maybe very small amounts by the end of today. And then we'll work, you know, continuously to get uh, the brand fit up and going, but, but nowhere near the, the, the durations that we saw uh, a few weeks ago. Lots of cleanup still ahead. We did also get an update from the first selectman of Branford. He said yesterday there was a lot of traffic jams and backups. Uh, a lot of people were out on the roads, and that actually caused some issues with allowing Eversource crews to get out there and respond to some of the roads and streets that they had to go to. So they are asking residents in Branford to please stay at home because they want to make sure that the roads are clear and that Eversource crews can get by and make those restorations. For now, we're live in Branford, Lisette Nunez, Fox 61 News.